I really don't know what to say, except I really like today's wallet. Oh my god, the suspense is killing me. <laughs> really excited. Here is the Emerson wallet. Two different colors from Harlan Handmade. Stitchless, very similar to other wallets we've seen from other makers. And uh, it, was, it came to me in a rough cotton bag. I just couldn't, you know, I was too excited to get these out. This is a different take on Stitchless Wallet. I really like this, and you'll see exactly why when we get further into the review. Now, this is a chestnut color, and this is olive in a Pueblo leather. You can see the texture differences right here. This has got a little bit more of a tooth to it. Uh, we've got this chestnut, which is a little smoother, so it depends on how you like your leather, there are options for you. Jacob, our maker and owner of Harland Handmade, is in Kentucky, and he developed the love of this craft while he was deciding thoughtfully how he could create handmade gifts to give to his family. So let's take a more closer look at his creation. So let's set aside the Olive Pueblo. Let's get into the feature review of what we have in this particular wallet. Man, I really, really like this. All right, what makes this wallet different and more functional is that the flap tucks into the front. We see a lot that tuck into straps or whatever it might be in here, but this tucks into the front of the wallet, not a front strap. I'm talking about tucking inside, like we see here. Now, Jacob, the maker, he actually just recently released a five to eight card version. This is a three to five card version, but the new version, you really can't tell as I've seen pictures of it. And I recorded this before I could get uh, that larger version to take a look at, but it's very close, but it gives you more options by way of cards and some cash to work with. Now, here's what I like. We have two not just one, but two exterior card slots. One where you have, and these are quick access, a card goes here, and another card can go right here. One card in each. Then we have, of course, the big interior. This is where you can, real, I think you can get four to six cards depending on the version you have and you know how many cards you put in there, which it will stretch a little bit. And that's the remainder for your slot for your cash and cards and, car, and cash that to be folded twice on this particular wallet. It measures 3.6 by 2.6 by 0.4 and it weighs 27 grams or 0.95 ounces. No, I'm glad there's something I can smell and sniff that's not going to kill me these days. Could have this been any easier? I, I'm telling you, really. Now, the, the six cards I got in here, I, I really, I mean, it, this is a three to five wallet. I think works great. And you can see these quick access card slots. I'm not going to have two, more than two cards, uh, whether it's a card or an ID that I need quick access to. And, let, and so I don't think I'm going to be getting in here very often because I just like that. I don't have to open this flap every single time. I've got the cards that I'm going to use readily available for me and to go after. Jacob, who's the maker, indicated the five to eight. A version would not be as snug as what we saw here. So if you carry more cards, you do have another option to look at. This is designed and made in the United States from a full grain veg tanned Italian Butero leather. And the quality of this leather just gets better with age and use. I like the simple logo mark that we have right here in the front, non obtrusive, uh, obtrusive. And even though this is a stitchless design, the edges are all very nicely burnished. Uh, I really like the, the burnishing that's done here. Simple, elegant, still got a good feel to it. It's just a great finish to this particular wallet. Now, I want to dispel something. If you think stitchless wallets are easy to design, let me know because I've struggled. The most time consuming things to design, period, uh, and create are the easiest items to use. I think many of you know that, and this is no different. I just really appreciate the design and thinking that went into this particular wallet. That's priced for $35. Very fair and very, very reasonable. Now, I'm sure there's a joke in here somewhere, the Emerson big and something like that. Anyway, usability-wise, Jacob also has a cash Emerson, a little bit wider, so can, you only have to fold your cash once. And that provides the ability to slip cards or cash into the back slot, just not, just not just cards. Now, when I first saw the wallet, I initially thought that tucking the flap into the wallet would be problematic when it's you know full of cards. But the same dimensions used to allow cards to sit in the wallet provide the ability to lightly squeeze this if you have cards in there. Well, I've got lots of cards. Let me, let me show you what that looks like. So I've got four cards in here right now, and I've got room for more. And uh, if you want to put the flap back in, you can either find that, but if it's full, all you do is squeeze it a little and you have access to the flap, opens up for you, and away you go. It's a brilliant design. 
And like I mentioned, I probably won't uh, pull cards out of the main compartment very often because of the two quick access card slots. It's a brilliant design and I will rarely pull cards out of the main slot with two already available and secure on the exterior like we see in this wallet. So if you're interested in Jacob's Cash Emerson, head over to his site, that'll be in the description below. Now onto the final score. For quality of five, uh, just amazing, I love it. Price of four, very reasonable. Features of three, usability of four, uh, boy, love those quick access card slots and perception of four. That gives us a final score, 4.1 out of five. If you like this video, then this one is similar and I'm sure you'll like it. Come on, I dare you. And we'll see you in the next review, bye.